So in the last video, we went over just a brief uh, view of the description panel over on the left here. And just some of the other items that we needed to do to search for an order set. So if I clicked on here, typed in card, we can find the admission set. So moving on to the attribute panel, uh, just on the top right hand corner here, uh, we're just going to go one by one by each of these settings. And now these settings right here are really important for the fact that what we choose here will actually display certain things on PowerChart, uh, have certain attributes or functionality for PowerChart, and what we can actually search for in PowerChart. So very important. Uh, and it also gives us information about when this order set was created, uh, when it was ended, and the versions and the status. So starting at the top right here, the display description tab. So if we look right here and then go to the left, uh, as I was saying earlier, this is the card admission set. So cardiac admission. And this is what actually is displayed in PowerChart. So if I actually change this to, let's say, cardiac or card admission adults, uh, what would actually be displayed when I search for this order set would be card admission adult in PowerChart. But since we've gone through a process of naming these, I'm not going to change it right now. But another cool functionality of this is actually creating synonyms for an order set. So what do I mean by that? So if I click on the ellipses on the left right here, it brings up a manage panel or manage plan synonyms. And from here, if I click on the icon, that kind of looks like a couple of dots with a star. It's kind of hard to make out. Um, I can actually create a new synonym. So let's say uh, the cardiac or card admission order set goes by a different name, but it's actually the same thing. So let's say we're going to call this card, uh, as all cardiology order sets are prefixed with the same uh, kind of set of words. And we're going to say admission, and we're going to say adult. And I'm going to click it there and press OK. So now if I cycle the servers and actually search for this particular order set again uh, within PowerChart, I would have two options, not just card admission, I will have card admission adult as well. But since this hasn't gone through a process where it's actually been okayed, we're actually going to erase this. Click on that, erase that, press OK. Um, not all order sets have synonyms. Some do, some do not. Uh, but in this case, we don't have one here. But in the future, if you need to add one right here, just type it in after clicking on this star page. Uh, Moving on to the next area, description. So description actually doesn't really matter what it shows uh, for PowerChart. It's actually more of a description or descriptor for backend tool, DCP tools. So for example, if I actually typed in card admission 111 and I go search and I save for this right here, press OK. I'm going to go search for card admission. So I'm just going to type in card. So what does it show up here? So when I search for card admission now, I don't have a card admission without the 111. It actually shows card admission 111 that I typed in in the description uh, uh, attribute. So when you modify the description uh, panel or I guess the, the row, uh, you'll actually modify what is searchable within DCP tools. Now let's just go back into card admission 111 and actually change that back because we do not want 111 at the end of it. It doesn't make any sense. So to summarize for those two particular rows, display description. This is the front end, what we call. So that's for users using PowerChart when they're searching for admission set. 
and description is in the back end what we actually search for uh, when we look for an order set. Now moving on to the next row, plan type. Now for CPOE, we generally only use medical plan types. Now nursing, nutrition, occupational therapy, and physiotherapy, uh, and the other different therapies as we go along here, are plan types for other professions. Now the exceptions are subphases and interdisciplinary, but for the most part, if we're talking from a physician surgeon perspective, we're going to be using medical type uh, plans. Now, it doesn't really mean too much in the back end, but when you go to the front end within power chart, and we go to the orders profile page, the order sets are actually groups by plan type. So if we have several different plans um, or order sets ordered for this particular patient, so let's say card admission, all these order sets will fall under the medical plan types or medical order set types. Now, if there are other areas, for example, nursing that ordered uh, a nursing specific order set, uh, it would fall under the nursing specific order set group within the orders profile page. And that's something I can show a little bit later in another video, but please keep that in mind when you're changing things around. But for the most part, we will default it to the medical plan type. Now, the next row, display method. Now, for the display method, there are three different options, outcome interventions, clinical categories, and sequence. Now, from my experience at least, we have not used outcome interventions at all from at least a CPOE perspective. Uh, the two main ones we use, or at least the main one we use, is clinical categories, which actually relates to these blue notebooks on the side here. So, we clicked on admit transfer discharge status that's a category if we clicked on patient care that is a category laboratory communication orders diagnostic imaging etc etc those are all categories now a sequenced order set or display method actually removes all the categories within an order set now why might we want to do that well in certain situations for from a workflow perspective, we will actually want to have or remove all categories completely because we have um, different steps, different stages for order sets. So for example, is bowel management. We have level one, level two, level three, and level four for bowel management. And we don't necessarily want to put everything into a particular category. So level one might have bowel management orders uh, related to communication, medications, and actual patient care interventions. Now, we don't want those separated out. We want them in, grouped together, or nested together under one category. Um, and that can go on for different order sets as well, or different types of interventions. Now, if I actually clicked on the sequence right here, as you can see, everything or the blue books and the categories have disappeared. Everything's kind of reverted into just straight orders. And this looks a bit messy and it's difficult to kind of identify where you're at unless you're really familiar with an order set. And this is actually what we'll show in Power Chart 2. So if you picked a sequence display method, it will actually show just straight orders and notes all together. Certain situations, it's okay. Other situations, definitely not okay. So let's change this back before we break more stuff. Actually, I'm just gonna not save, seems to be the quickest, and just bring up this order set again. As you can see, categories are back. The next row, status. Now, this is important as well. So over here on this row, now, if it's a production status, that means it's available in Power Chart. It's available to be searched and picked within the Power Chart environment. And the other uh, particular status that we're interested in is inactive status, which means it's not searchable within Power Chart. And where we go to actually change the status of that, 
is if we click on task right up here in the top left hand corner of DCP tools we go to manage versions and as we can see here we have the version type or the version uh, which is version number one status uh, production and valid from which one it was created and valid until which is current now three different options right here inactive version to production and version to testing now version to testing as it kind of says it's for testing purposes it doesn't go to production environment in power chart so it's not searchable but you can still have this around so you can actually fiddle around kind of play with it see how it works when you inactivate it and if we if you remember from the previous video when we inactivate order sets we actually put a zz in front of them um, this is not searchable at all we don't use them at all they're kind of inactivated for whatever reason and if we hit on the version to production, we can actually create another version here. So if I just click version to production, it will create a new version, version two. 